Hey guys, what's up? You know, in this world, there's only three kinds of people. Those that can count and those that can't. I'm still trying to figure out where I fit into that puzzle. So in this video, we're going to look at three for real ways in which you can resize your sprite and when you would use each. So the first way we're going to resize a sprite is dynamically. Dynamically means while the program's running or during runtime. So the first way to resize your sprite that we're going to look at is dynamically. And you would do this if you wanted to change the size in real time or, or while the program is running. And we're going to use these two looks blocks, the change size and set size. So if you look at the little script I set up here, it's got three conditions. If a B is pressed, we're going to change the size by 10, making it bigger. If the S is pressed, we're going to change the size by negative 10, making it smaller. And if you hit space, it's just going to resize it back to 100%. So when I click my flag, I hit B, it gets bigger. I hit S, it gets smaller. And I hit space, and it resizes. The second way to resize your sprite that we're going to look at is using the shrinker and grower button on the top, the tools on the top. We would use this when we want to show depth or perspective within our screen. And we would use this on the screen so that we can actually see the sizes as they shrink or grow to make it perfect. Here, let me give you an example. So for our second method, we're going to look at these two tools on the top of our development environment. I've opened up the whack-a-mole game. So in this program, we wanted to create multiple cat sprites and we wanted to create depth. So what I did was I duplicated our cat sprite a couple of times. And then the ones in the distance, I'd make smaller. Now up here, we have two icons. One will grow a sprite and one will shrink the sprite. So I shrink this. And if I make this a little smaller, make this a little smaller, and maybe make this a little bigger, it gives the appearance of depth. Now it's important to note here that if we go and look at our size blocks on the looks, that the size was reflected. So even though we went and used the grower and shrinker, 100% is still 100%. So if we, if we look at our big sprite up here in the front, you can see it's 125%. If we go to this middle sprite, it's at 90%. And if we go to the sprite in the back here, you can see that that's 75%. The third way that we're gonna resize our sprite is within the drawing tool in the costume itself. And you would do this to create relative difference in size between sprites. When you change the size within the costume, you're actually redefining what 100% is. So the third way we're going to resize our sprite is within the drawing tool itself. Let's say I have a program that's going to require two cat sprites, one father and one son. So I'm going to rename this father. Then I'm going to duplicate, right click duplicate, and I'm going to rename the second sprite son. Now, generally speaking, the father is going to be bigger than the son. So I'm going to go into the sun sprite, go to costume. I'm going to use my select tool and I'm going to select the cat. And then within the drawing tool, I'm going to shrink the cat itself. Click away. Okay, if that's right, I like it. I'm going to go back to scripts. And now if you look at my son and you look at the looks, you can see that 100% is that smaller size. A son at 100% is smaller than its father at 100%. So there you go, guys. Three ways in which you can resize your sprite and when and why you would use them. So once again, like what you like. Subscribe if you haven't. And as always, I will see you next time.